Evening guys, or should I say good morning, Cheshire Auto Locksmiths here, as you can see <coughs> I'm next to a, I'm doing this as a bit of a mock up a Vespa GTS, my own scooter, this is a lost keys situation as if you've got no keys at all, and this is how I go about to do the job, to give you guys some indication of what's entailed, how the prices have worked out basically and uh, how to get the scooter back on the road without paying over 400 nearly 500 pound for a new ECU. As you can see the scooter's got no, no, no key in the ignition and pretty much dead. Okay, what I use is one of these. That's what you call a lishy pick, you see all the numbers on it. And the key for a Vespa is uh, a Fiat key. It's a Fiat GT15, although on the new Fiat, they have what you call a SIP22 key. So we insert the pick into the scooter and just slightly put a little bit of tension on. My big head might get in the way here, I do apologise. And I start to go down the pick, just feeling the wafers. This pick is what you call, uh, sorry, this lock is called a one up, one down lock. And this key, what I'm using, this pick, is basically a mechanical key. Us guys, old school boys, would call it a skeleton key. Doesn't normally take too long to get him to open one of these, as we refer it to in the trade as a cylinder key. And some of them you have what you call a picking sequence. nice kick on it then which means that the wafers and again and that lovely kick oh, let's get on the bottom that's gone too sure how much of this you guys can actually see but uh, this lock is almost uh, picked sometimes you let a little bit of tension off and some of the wafers will spring back into the channel there you go guys my ignition has just turned on and obviously there's no immobiliser chip here so you press the start button with a brake that's your immobiliser in action the immobiliser light on the dashboard is solid the lights are all turned on I've now picked that open now what I'll try and do you won't be able to see this I'm afraid I can't give all my secrets away is decode the lock off the pick then we're going to go into the van and cut a key and uh, I'm actually going to copy the red key today and see if that works. Okay, so my head's going to slightly get in the way here, guys, so I do apologise. Right. Number one cut is a two. Number three cut is a three. I'll write that down. One's a two. Three's a three. Five to one. Let's go to number two. Number two's a two. Number four's a two. Two's a two. Four's a two. These numbers that I'm 
shouting out the twos and the fours and that are the depths. Number five is a one. And number six is a two. Five is a one. Six is a two. Got seven, eight, and nine to do. Oh. Sevens are one, eights are one, sevens are one, eights are one, and nine, which is the last cut. I'm getting an in-between cut on this. It's either a two or a three. So I'll write down two stroke three. Because I'm not sure on that one. The reading I'm getting is in between. So, pop the ignition back off. Remove the pick. And go over to the vehicle. Okay, I'm going to set this up in here. My big finger off it. Right. So, there's my cuts, what I get, and right, let's get it over here so I can see what I'm doing. Right, one is a two, two is a two, three is a three, four is a two, five is a one, six is a two, seven is a one, Eight is a one, and nine is a two or a three. I'm going to put two because it's a shallower cut. Let's see how we go on. Okay. I've already put a key in there. The key's open. And I'm going to click OK. I can see the shape of the key already on the screen. I'm going to press cut. Key's already in there. Let's do it on the fast speed and cut. Gets a bit loud this, so... Well, while that's cutting, I'll just show you a little bit more in the van. Another key, key cutting machine there. Another one at the end. And... In there are all keys. I've got a programmer down here, which I will first of all put the red key in. The red key that just opens up and you can actually see there that opens up and you can actually see the carbon chip inside there. What we do, press read, that's now reading that transponder chip. I'll press copy, and I'll copy that to a blank T5 chip. Press continue. There's no transponder in there, so put the transponder in there. Press continue to a T5. And continue. There you go. We've now got a copy of the red chip. Okay. As you can see, this key is now cut. And there's a key. All cut. What, what I'll do first of all, I'll just pop that transponder in the key and it's quite hard working with one hand pop that into there 
that onto there. I don't post out genuine Vespa keys because they're rather expensive and a key is a key. So we've got the key, we just may have to take the number 9 cut out to a 3, it may not fit, but there again let's see how good I am. Key in the ignition, yep I'm going to have to take that number 9 cut out to uh, a 3 from a 2. So, a minute here guys. Back in the cutter. Okay. And uh, put take that last one. So it was uh, two, two, three, two. Two, two, three, two, one, bugger. Two. I'm going to take that last one to a three. Okay. All this is going to do is literally take the last cut out. Probably won't touch the key most of the time, just on the uh, tip of the key. It's only taking it off on the very tip of the key and not the bow of the key. Let's go and try again. Hopefully we'll do it this time. There you go, we've now got a key that fits, as you can see the patch light's gone out and the scooter starts. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just produced a key from no key by picking the lock, decoding the lock and producing a key. That's got the red data on the key, that's what we can do. Okay, thank you for watching.